Sometimes I lay under the moon I thank God I'm breathing And I pray don't take me soon Cause I am here Aloha, my friend. How are you today? Today, I want to talk to you. My friend, are you a Christian? Are you sure? Are you positive? Do you really believe in your salvation? How serious do you take your salvation? Do you believe you're saved? How do you know you're saved? And if you're saved from that point on, what do you do next? Do you just become a lazy Christian? Do you become a flat tire criminal Christian? Do you talk with your fat lips about how you love God, but yet your actions is all flat tire? Is that you? Are you loving Jesus with your big fat hamburger lips? Or are you loving Jesus with your heart? My friend, God is just sick and tired of you, murmuring and complaining, and unappreciative, unthankful, ungrateful, disrespectful, lovers of yourself, lovers of what you want more than lovers of God. And you know what, my friend? If you're still in love with the world, you don't love Jesus. Because if you want to follow Jesus, Jesus said, you must give it all up. Give everything up. You must give the world up, my friend. You cannot have one leg in the world and one leg in the Bible. If that's you, you're in danger, my friend. Jesus is not a flu shot. You inject, you inject him every year. You know what I'm saying, my friend? And because you say the Lord's Prayer, here's my question. You think God, is, you think you're saved? You think when you say the sinner's prayer, you think you're saved? Do you think that you say 1 John 1, 9, if you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to forgive you of all your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. My friend, do you really think God forgives you? You know what? If you just think you can say those words, you're a liar. Let me tell you why you're a liar. First of all, you say you love Jesus, you're a Christian. You go to church late. When you're sitting in church, you get tantrums. You're looking at your clock, how fast, how, how much more time get left in the service. You just want to get out of the service. You start yawning inside there. You start sneaking down somewhere to get out of church. Maybe you go to the bachelor, maybe 10 times special, just so you don't even hear the pastor because you're bored. But my friend, those are syndromes from hell. I think it's time that you really wake up and smell the coffee because my friend if you're not going to wake up then you're going to have a rude awakening i can tell you right now god is fed up with the criminal christians with the big fat hamburger lips who saying they love jesus and yet they love the world they love to brown nose the world you know their nose you look them real good you see the brown spot on their nose they keep brown nosing and brown nosing and i call that ass kisses <laughs> They love kissing ass. They kiss the world's ass. They even kiss the pastor's ass if they can. <laughs> There's no room for heaven for ass kisses. Yeah, right.